Hello there. So far, Bulgaria has blocked EU accession negotiations with North Macedonia. Its parliament now agrees to a compromise and is nurturing hopes of relaxation. North Macedonia's parliament on Saturday approved the negotiating framework for EU accession talks proposed by the EU Commission, which also contains a compromise proposal in the dispute with neighboring Bulgaria. This really fuels the hope of the EU Commission that this will clear the way for the start of accession negotiations with North Macedonia and also Albania, which Bulgaria had previously blocked with a veto. The applications from Albania and North Macedonia will be dealt with jointly by the EU Commission. It was initially unclear whether Bulgaria would agree to the compromise, especially since a government crisis is currently raging there. The decision of the parliament in Skopje was made without dissenting votes, albeit in the absence of the nationalist party VMRO DPMNE, whose MPs have left the hall in protest, as reported by the North Macedonian news agency MacFax. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz congratulated on Twitter. I welcome the vote of the Macedonian parliament, which clears the way for the first accession conferences of the European Union with North Macedonia and Albania, he wrote. We want you to become members of the European Union and we will accompany you on this path. Well, congratulations also came from the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and the president of the European Council, Charles Michel. This was a historic opportunity, wrote von der Leyen. This is a big step on, on your way to European future. And Michel added, our future is together and we welcome you with open arms. The United States also welcomed the parliamentary decision. This is a crucial moment for Europe, Foreign Minister Antony Blinken said on Twitter. So they even took interest in that. North Macedonia has been waiting for accession talks with the EU to begin since 2008. Most recently, the neighboring country and EU member Bulgaria, as I said, blocked this. It wanted to wrest concessions from North Macedonia on minority historical interpretation and language issues. The French EU Council presidency drew up a compromise proposal. The Bulgarian parliament authorized its government to approve this proposal. However, following a vote of no confidence in parliament, Bulgaria currently only has an acting government. It remains to be seen whether this or a possible successor government will stick to the parliamentary decision. On this basis, North Macedonia's social democratic government is ready to start accession negotiations. The nationalist opposition, but also liberal critics fear that the compromise will continue to allow Bulgaria to block progress in the accession negotiations. Von der Leyen countered these concerns. The proposal recognizes the Macedonian language without restrictions, she said last week. Bilateral issues like interpreting history are not conditions of accession talks. Well, Greek-influenced ancient Macedonia reached its greatest extent under Alexander the Great and reached as far as the Indus. The ethnic structure of the region was permanently influenced by the Slavic conquest in the 6th century. Today, the Macedonians are considered to be a South Slavic ethnic group close to the Bulgarians. Initially under Bulgarian and uh, Byzantine rule, Macedonia was finally incorporated into the Turkish Ottoman sphere of influence in the 14th century. The three-part division of the area that exists today goes back to the demarcation of the border after the Balkan Wars of 1912 and 1913. Serbia, Greece and Bulgaria made territorial claims on Macedonia and each annexed a part of Macedonian territory to their state. After the First World War, Serbian Macedonia was incorporated into the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. After World War II, it became a constituent republic in the People's Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia. Macedonia declared independence in September 1991, after which the Yugoslav army peacefully withdrew. 
After independence, a dispute broke out between Greece and Macedonia over the official name of the Macedonian state. To this date, Greece does not agree with the name Macedonia since ancient, ancient Macedonia is part of Greek's history and was not inhabited by Slavs at the time. For this reason, in 2008, Greece also blocked Macedonia's intended admission to NATO. Because of this Greek blockade policy, Macedonia is, still, is now called um, North Macedonia, how I called it the whole video. Since independence, the country's political situation, like Macedonia's party landscape, has been characterized by the polarity between ethnic Macedonians and the Albanian minority. The conservative VMRO, DPMNE and the Social Democratic SDSM are the dominant parties of the Macedonian ethnic group. Within the Albanian ethnic group, several parties are competing, among which the Democratic Union for Integration has a prominent position. And uh, it is really interesting because uh, the name thing went on for quite some time and uh, that they finally agreed that they are called North Macedonia, that they could live with it, is a really good thing because that made the accession talks to the EU possible in the first place. In March 2004, the Republic of North Macedonia submitted its application for membership to the European Council. After a consultation with the Council of the EU, the European Commission issues an opinion on the application for EU membership. The European Council in Brussels in November 2005 gave a favorable opinion then. And in December 2005, North Macedonia was granted the status of an EU candidate country. Since then, North Macedonia has been one of the candidate countries. There are more. However, it can sometimes take a few years before session negotiations actually begin. Certain reforms have to be implemented in advance, at least for the key criteria. The EU monitors the status of developments in ongoing progress reports. In particular, the EU Commission expected North Macedonia to make progress in improving administrative capacities in the fight against corruption. In Macedonia, political tensions were delaying reforms for quite some time. In October 2009, the European Commission first recommended opening accession negotiations with the Republic of North Macedonia. In the progress report at that time, the EU mentioned the following points in particular on which the country still had to make progress. There was the insufficient role of the parliament, the high level of corruption that still existed, and the deficiencies in the rule of law. The start of accession negotiations had been made dependent on progress in implementing reforms. And finally, in June 2018, the European Council issued an opinion positive on the progress made, particularly in some key areas such as the reform of the judiciary, reform of the intelligence and security services, and reform of public, uh, public administration. In June 2019, the Council paved the way for the opening of accession negotiations. In March 2020, EU ministers responsible for European affairs gave the go-ahead for the start of accession negotiations with Albania and the Republic of North Macedonia. Council conclusions on enlargement and the stabilization and association process were adopted then. However, there are sometimes other hurdles to be overcome before accession negotiations actually begin. In the past, for example, the veto of individual, sorry, individual member states repeatedly delayed the start of negotiations. Also in the case of North Macedonia as well as Albania, Bulgaria and for some time the Netherlands vetoed in November 2020. Thus, until today's news, North Macedonia had to continue to wait for the start of negotiations. So we just can keep our fingers crossed. Once the negotiations start, the individual areas such as economic policy, foreign policy, the rule of law and some more will be negotiated in 35 chapters over the next few years. Negotiations are conducted at ministerial level in accession conferences between the governments of the EU countries and the governments of North Macedonia, or the government, they only have one. The aim is for the accession candidate to fully adopt the legal acquis of the EU. 
After all chapters have been concluded, a draft of an accession treaty will be drawn up, which the Commission, the Council and Parliament must agree to. Only then can the accession treaty be signed with North Macedonia and all EU member states. And after subsequent ratification, the actual admission as a new member of the European Union can be completed. So, despite the claims of a certain group of people about the impending end of the EU, other countries want to join. And of course, I mustn't forget to point out something else important here today. Tonight at 6 p.m. CT, so the same time, the first video go went online on my Outside Views military channel. Please go there and subscribe to that channel as well. You can find the link in the video description of this video. I'll see you there. Ciao vorbei.